Hey everyone, my name is Salman MKC. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can have two separate Teams applications for different organizations. And yeah, I'm going to show you it right now. So what you can do is you can, you can see I've got my account here. Um, what you do is you go up here and this requires you to use the Microsoft Edge browser and we're utilizing the profile option. So as you can see, I've got a personal profile here, and then I've got my Nottingham University email here. If I want to add another profile, we can do that. So we'll add a profile, we can click add, and then here, what we can do is we can navigate to the Teams website. So teams.microsoft.com. If we go here, I don't want to switch for this, you can, but in this situation, you don't want to switch your profiles, and then you want to sign in. So I want to sign in with my Microsoft account here, which I haven't used in the other Teams accounts. Team, like, you know, I haven't logged in with, uh, on here. So these ones are on different emails. So my uni email and then my student partner email. So this is a separate account now. And also what you can do here is you can manage profile settings. You can give it a different name. So I'm going to call this .NET. Foundation, and I'm going to give it a profile picture, and cool. You can also sign in here to sync it with a certain email and things, but I'm not going to do that. No thanks, I don't want to switch, and I'm going to log in. Let's save this, and what you can do is you can click use web app instead. So I'm going to choose an organization, in this case, I want to access the .NET Foundation. So I'm going to verify and continue to log in. And hopefully, when it loads, okay, so I don't really talk to many people on this, but as you can see, we are in my other team's account. So how do we actually get it to be like this? How do we have a separate app? So what we can do is we can go up here, if we click the three dots, and then we can go to apps, and then install this site as an app. We can then give it a name, so I'm going to call it .NET Foundation Teams, and I'm going to click install. Okay, so now what that's done is this application has now popped up on the side of my other monitor, and you now have a third window like a third window here. You can go over here and you can choose to add, you can pin it to start. So I've now got my UniTeams.net foundation and I should also see if I can get this one over here. So now I have three Teams applications and they're all switchable. So now I don't have to actually, you know, go into the browser and log in every time. The disadvantage to this is, yes, these are running as web apps still. These are web apps, and it being run as a web app is sort of a disadvantage in the fact that you can't get full desktop features, but this is the next best thing. I don't want to have to have one browser and then launch, you know, the dev version of Edge and then the non-dev version of Edge. Utilizing profiles is very nice, and this is also very nice in the sense that different profiles, I can now go to my mail for Nottingham on these separate profiles. And they have separate windows themselves. This has a separate window. They don't do that whole merging thing where you have like multiple windows and everything. That's that's that. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, uh, comment and subscribe. Let me know if this helps and I will very much appreciate that. Thank you very much and bye bye.